Hi guys, welcome to this system. This video is about the Arclix desktop treasure. You may have noticed one of the videos already 450 people have seen that video. That was for the beta testers. We are now that far ahead that we have launched the Arclix desktop treasure. What is that? So control T, let's do a pseudo pacman minus sy which is synchronizing databases getting databases in so now it knows that there is something called arcolix desktop treasure and it's now installed it clearly states the arcolix desktop treasure is installed use arcolix desktop treasure with care make backups before you use it it may compromise other desktops we have 22 of them Use the Arcanix Tweak tool to reinstall a compromised desktop, right? If you, by accident, removed a package that was necessary for another desktop, that was, that's what's called a compromised desktop. There are two things in Arcanix now. There is, if you remember Karate Kid, the movie, there is the wax on and there's the wax off. What I mean by that? There is the tweak tool, the Arcanix tweak tool, which means that's the wax on, desktop on. And there is now the desktop off, our wax off. So you can decide any of these 22 desktops to put it on our machine. Well, 21 since we are an XFCE, right? But there is also something to trash it. So trash, the words has been chosen wisely. It's not removal or remove or anything benign sounding. No, it's 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 horrific sounding. It's it's meant to be um, showing that guys, you should be aware that this can be dangerous. Right? To trash is pejorative. A bomb is clear. This tool is provided without any guarantees. Used with care. Functionality of the desktops may be compromised. Make backups. I mean, we have communicated it clearly that this is not for your machine what you work on your your working computer system no this is this is the phase where you say oh my god i have 22 desktops to choose from which one shall i choose and you investigate these guys and after a while you say not my thing right and you want to get rid of it again that's this thing and there are two ways to get rid of things there is the option one this is option one. And this line, this code behind it, actually goes to XD. That's it. It shows you XD. What's XD? It's an alias to list everything in the user share X sessions. Now, these things, these, these GUIs, they rely on Pacman, Arch Linux, all the groups, all the dependencies, that change all the time. Packages and groups contents change all the time. So it will never be complete during the whole year. There will be things uh, going on on your system and we'll explain them to you. So it is a trial, an attempt to remove desktops from your system, experimental always. There are two things. So option one is this one. This reads what's inside user share X sessions. If I install awesome right now and I reload, it's going to find awesome. Yes, because XD awesome has been installed. So every desktop puts something in the user share X sessions. Now, if things go wrong and you have partially removed a desktop, then maybe this desktop thing is gone, but all the rest, all the dependencies and all the other applications are not gone, which means this will just show you XFCE and that's it. And you can't select it. So for that reason, we have option two. And this is our list is just typed. It's a list that we typed 22 desktops and you can still well, click on there and say, try to get rid of it again. Trash the desktop completely. So the backend is going to go over again 
pacman minus r s remove this remove that remove this remove that until everything is really really gone so that's the point um a wax on and a wax off tool beware that is created only for the time and the phase where you're re really looking at things and saying okay which article links b would be best for me would i love i3 maybe so you install it and you go and learn about i3 articlinksd.com menu i3 all the information is there refresh current desktops not my thing this awesome but i3 i like so you select awesome and you trash the desktop and the trash top desktop is gone refresh it's gone in the meantime we've taken care of some backup system so we have here the att which is Arclinks tweet tool makes backup of the config but the treasure also makes a backup the Arclinks uh, desktop treasure treasure <laughs> made a backup as well before doing anything before overwriting anything because we need to overwrite there is no other way i3 needs to be in here i3 needs to be in here awesome needs to be in here bsp the, the wm needs to be in here herbsluft wm needs to be in here etc right so the, these guys there's no way around it we need to overwrite your uh, home directory so this is this stage that should be used in the stage where you decide i'm gonna try out dwm install refresh the current desktops dwm is here gonna trash it again because not my thing right and the main the, the most difficult things these are the, the easiest guys because it's just a file a few files and, and a few applications but the trouble came with guys like deeping gnome mate and surely plasma because it contains so so much software it's going to download everything and install everything but again it has to remove everything in a certain order and that let's call it the picking order right it's working now but who's to say it's going to work in the future right so it will be always a, a story of taking a look at your menu and say oh that's something from gnome or that's something from mate and you type in pseudo pacman minus rs and get rid of that particular application that you don't want to have on your in this case xfce right don't see anything right now so all the time when developing this <coughs> we've installed desktops and we've looked again at the menu in xfce and said is there anything left is there anything we don't want this is gnome disks but we want gnome disk we keep gnome disks we want it there g parted as well so stuff some of it needs to say other things need really need to go so it is really um, a difficult job sure and that's why we've postponed it so long we don't didn't want to create an arcanx desktop treasure as it's too difficult so it will probably stay experimental but it will get rid of lots of things already and it's up to you to to remove the crumbs basically what's left over you may wonder what's this reboot eh? closing is simple it's closing this app but why reboot right i, I told somebody on on uh, youtube you can actually remove xfce being on xfce of course what you get is an unworkable system none of the menus will work none of the buttons will work you can't log out you can't stop the system unless power down button on your computer but here's the reboot right so i could decide to install something like cwm install it remove xfce then reboot and log back in as cwm so it, it's all possible we've all tried it trusted it but again if things fail you can always tell us but we've made another video and then you're in full control yourself and that's type it in a terminal that's the tip we always give you so the Arclinux tweak tool we don't like typing so there's an alias yeah another alias 
Arklink Street tool. Keep it around. Check it out. What will it do? When I click on desktop, awesome install. It's gonna do all that. Awesome is installed. Control T, I wanna wax off it again. Desktop off, Arklink desktop treasure. Okay, launched and follow along. And then you'll see when we trash the desktop, what's going on. We're removing things with RS, Pacman minus RS, Lua wishes this out and so on. And maybe, maybe hopefully, Pacman will tell you, I wanted to remove that, but it conflicted with this and the dependency with that, because we do not know what you've installed on your system extra. We can only test with the desktops and the packages that we have. We have no clue what extra packages you've installed and whatever dependency that's, um, uh, that, that, that or it, it, it will change the dependencies in Pacman and maybe conflicting in this particular desktop. It might, we don't know. So taking a look at the terminal is always a good idea for any application out there to see what message comes ahead, what comes to us, because this is just a GUI, a graphical user interface telling if we select something and click here, we're gonna trash things. And then it's up to Pacman. And Pacman with zero control over Pacman, zero control up over the Archlink group, the dependencies, and so on. So here it is. That's where you find your knowledge to say, oh, I should remove that first. And then comes option two, because things might have been successful, partially, and suddenly the dropdown is gone. There are still parts on your system, but XD, remember, shows it's gone. And here we have a list that we've created ourselves. This is typed, so you can try it again with this one trash the desktop right target not found it was already removed but now it's going to go over the list anyway to see if it really is removed and then hopefully you won't see this anymore and you'll know that the xd is empty user share x sessions awesome is gone and you still have i3 and xfce so we provide you with a tool, use it wisely. Again, um, we've put it there just for the time when you decide what desktop is really my thing. I wanna learn about desktops, but at some point in time, you need to make a decision. And then you go to the Arclix B ISOs and decide to download that one. And maybe you can still make a combo and say Plasma with i3 is the way to go or Mate and BSPWM is what I want, etc., etc. A good combo between a desktop and a tiling window manager is not a bad idea. That's how we started with XFC, OpenBox and i3, and it works great together. But it's choices, as always, it's choices, but we provide the tools to make those choices. All right, enjoy Arclix, Arclix Desktop Treasure, and remember the tip, any application out there start from a terminal and then you see what's going on maybe all right cheers